All right, so kind of the same, going off that got going off that concept, it's kind of the same thing here, 2.8 as a fraction. Right? So go slightly faster for this question here. But what we're doing again, we're just converting fractions into, uh, we're going from decimals to fraction, right? So number two, I have 2.8 as a fraction. So maybe take a minute to think about this. I'm gonna see if I can get some more light in here, uh, just to just to help with uh, the, the the camera. But it says here 2.8 as a fraction. Um, think maybe take a moment to think about this question here. So what we're having here is we have 2.8 here as a fraction. So it's exactly the same thing as what we're going to do before, right? So again, we're converting from a decimal to a fraction, right? So exactly the same question as what we're going to do for number two here. So again, if we recall, what we're going to do is we're going to write this as a, in terms of we have two parts to a decimal, decimal here. We have the whole part and the decimal part. We convert it to what is, what is a mixed fraction first. Uh, with the whole part into the fraction part and then we convert to improper fractions and reduce if possible right so that's what we're going to do exactly for the same question here so i have 2.8 here so 2.8 means that my mixed fraction so this is my decimal here would be my mixed fraction would equal Basically, my whole part is, and I have two as my whole part, and then two here is my whole part, obviously, and then 0.8 here will be my fraction, right? And I know, again, it's in the 10th digit, so it's going to be 8 over 10 here. So again, I have my mixed fraction here. And then what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to, again, convert this into an improper fraction and reduce to lowest terms, right? So... Again, I have two, what I'm gonna do is I'm multiply by the denominator and then I'm going to uh, add it to the numerator, right? So I have two multiply by 10 here and add to the numerator, right? So two times 10 is 20, plus eight here would be 28, right? I have 28 over 10 here is my improper fraction. And then what I can do to this is I can reduce to lowest terms, right? As you can see here, um, 28, 10, I have two even numbers, so I'm gonna take it maybe two out of, uh, divide both sides, or do both uh, parts by two. And then I'm gonna get 28 divided by two here is 14, and finally 10 divided by two is five. So this here is our answer here, 14 over five. And as you can see, this here is the correct answer as well. 14 over five is the correct answer. In this case, the student uh, d decided to reduce to lowest terms, which is perfect, and that's what we did over here as well. So they got 21, 28 over 10 here, and then they got 14 over 5, and this here is the correct solution, right? It's the correct solution and analysis here. <laughs>